Who is Habib? Habib was a childhood friend of Hussein. He didn't get to know Hussein later on as an adult. From the time he was a child, Habib was in love with Hussein. The Arbab of Aza say that one day when Rasulullah was sitting on the member and he saw some children playing, he said to one of his Ashab, go bring me that boy there, the son of Madahir. And the man brought Habib to Rasulullah and Rasulullah took Habib in his arms. He hugged him and he kissed him. And the Ashab said, Ya Rasulullah, why? Why the special treatment with the son of Madahir? He said, you did not see what I saw. What did you see, Ya Rasulullah? He said, this boy is truly the Habib of my Hussein. I saw that wherever Hussein was walking, Habib was taking the dust from his feet and wiping it on his head. This young boy is the Habib of my Hussein. You can imagine the love of Habib. When Habib came to Karbala, he was an old man. He said to Imam Hussein, Aba Abdullah, when I see you, I feel young. I feel like a youth. I feel filled with energy and zeal. I want to do jihad. This is what Hussein was to Habib. And the books of Maktal say that when they would come to the land of Karbala and they saw that there is a small qafila of Hussein in the middle of the desert, they would gallop their horses with speed and force and pound their feet, the hooves of the horses on the ground just to scare the children of Hussein, to frighten the children and the women. And every time these troops would come beating drums and charging their horses, the children would cry. And at one point, Ummul Masaib Zainab salam came to Hussein. My brother Hussein, all these troops coming one after another, one after another. Do you not have any Habib who can come to our help? Do you not know anyone who can come to our rescue? Bas Hussein had Habib. Yes, I have a Habib, I will write to him. He wrote a letter and sent it with a messenger. Kufa was in a state of fear. There was curfew in Kufa. When this messenger came to Kufa, Habib was having supper with his wife. The door, there was a knock on the door. Habib asked in this state of fear, who is it? And a man whispered, Ana Baridul Hussein. I am the messenger of Hussein. The man, Habib opened the door. He took the letter, the messenger left. Habib took the letter of Hussein. He placed it on his forehead. He kissed the letter, a letter from the son of Zahra. He has remembered me. My childhood friend has remembered me. Habib opened the letter. What would the letter say? The letter said, Min Hussein ibn Ali ila rajulun faqih Habib ibn Madahir. From Hussein ibn Ali to the erudite, to the learned Habib ibn Madahir. Oh Habib, I have been surrounded in the desert of Karbala. Oh Habib, I need your help. Come to me, O oh Habib, Al-Ajal, Al-Ajal. Habib began weeping. His wife came to him, O oh Habib, what is it that is making you weep? He said, I have received a letter from Hussein. He said, what does the letter say? She says, he said, the letter Hussein has called me for help. Hussein has been surrounded by enemies. Hussein wants me to go and help him. His wife said, O oh Habib, then what are you thinking? He said, I am thinking about you. What will become of you if I go? But his wife stood up and said, Oh Habib, the son of Zahra is calling you. The son of Mustafa is surrounded and you are concerned about me. Oh Habib, by Allah, if you do not go, I will go and help Hussein. Habib was pleased with his wife. Habib said to his servant, take my horse and wait on the outskirts of Kufa. There is fear in Kufa. I will come to you in the middle of the night. Habib prepared himself. Habib bid farewell to his wife. He left in the middle of the night and went towards his servant waiting with his horse. Habib was delayed in getting to his horse. When he came to the horse, he found his servant holding the horse and weeping and talking to the horse and saying, Oh horse, my master is late in coming. By Allah, if he does not show up, I will go on you and go to Karbala and help Hussein. This man was a slave. He did not have to do jihad. Habib heard this. He was pleased with his slave. He said, I have freed you for the sake of Allah. The man said, if you have freed me, then I also wish to come to Karbala. Habib took his slave with him and headed towards Karbala. As Habib was going towards Karbala, the books of Azar tell us that Imam Hussein was preparing alums and banners for his 
commanders that would fight on the day of Ashura. Hussein prepared 12 rayat, 12 banners for the day of Ashura. He gave 11 to different individuals. He kept one beautiful alam on the side. His ashab kept asking him, Oh Hussein, for whom is this alam? For whom is this raya? He said, wait, you will see. This is for my Habib. I am waiting for my Habib. When Habib showed up in Karbala, there was rejoicing amongst the ashab of Hussein. They were delighted to see such a great man, a commander in his own right has come to join them. Zainab heard the voices of rejoicing on the camp. This was a different thing. She sent Fidda off. Fidda, go and see. Why have the ashab of my brother started talking so loudly with such happiness and rejoicing? Fidda went and came back. She said, Oh Zainab, Oh Sayyidati, Habib has come from Kufa. She sent her again. She said, Oh Fidda, go and give him my salams. When Fidda came to Habib and said, Oh Habib, the daughter of Ali sends you salams. Habib began slapping himself on the face and saying, Alas, such times have befallen on you, O Ahlul Bayt, that the daughter of Ali should send salams on a servant like Habib. Ya Hussain!